Sidekick offers a commercially supported version known as Sidekick Pro. Sidekick Pro offers a few features that aren't provided in the open source offering. The first features we'll be looking at are reliability and the ability to pause queues. Let's get started. So let's talk about reliability. Sidekick uses brpop to pop a job off the queue in Redis. This is a really nice primitive to use when building a job queue, but the downside is that when it pops the item off the queue in Redis, the item is off the queue. If Sidekick were to crash while processing this item, it's gone forever. Let's see this in action. I've tagged the example repo with before episode 003.4 if you're following along. I added a 20 second sleep to the visitor mailer to demonstrate the problem. If Sidekick fetches this job but crashes before it's completed working, the job will be forever lost. We'll demonstrate this. We can see there's nothing in the queue. We'll add our mailer job. Okay, we see the job is added to the queue. Now we're not yet running Sidekick, so it'll stay in that queue. We'll run Sidekick in a new terminal. Here we can see it fetched the job. Let's get the process ID. And we will kill Sidekick with kill-9. The job never completed, and it wasn't pushed back into the queue because the worker process was ruthlessly killed. We can see that the queue is empty now. Okay, so that mail is never going to be sent. Sidekick takes quite a few pains to ensure that it pushes unfinished jobs back onto the queue, but the only way to guarantee reliability is for jobs to not be removed from the queue until completed. Sometimes the default reliability is just fine. For businesses that need guaranteed reliability, it's a deal breaker. For those use cases, Sidekick Pro offers improved reliability in a couple of different ways. The way that it worked from the beginning was by using the rpop l push command in Redis. This behavior can be achieved by using the reliable fetch algorithm in Sidekick Pro. This is the ideal algorithm if you're running your own servers, but should be avoided for containers or platforms as a service. We're deploying to Heroku, so we'll end up using the timed fetch algorithm instead. It's less scalable and has an additional requirement that all the jobs it runs have to complete within a globally configured timeout, but it's easier to set up and can be used with containers and platforms as a service. Life's about trade-offs, so it's worth reading up on the two different algorithms and understanding the trade-offs at play. We'll move on with timed fetch. First off, let's make our project pull inside Kick Pro. Once you sign up, you'll get a custom URL to fetch the gem from. Then you just put it in your gem file like this. I have, of course, hidden this URL since it's specific to each customer, but I wanted you to see how easy it was to use. Anyway, onto the project. After you've used the gem, to enable Sidekick Pro's reliability features, you can set up your initializers easily once you understand the options. Reliable Push will help guarantee that the jobs the client pushes make it to Redis in the event of network failures. We don't enable reliable push in test mode to avoid swallowing errors. Next, inside the configure server block, you can configure timed fetch. One of the trade-offs with timed fetch is that you must ensure that your jobs complete within a given timeout. That timeout is 3600 seconds by default, but to make this a bit easier to demonstrate, I'll set it to 30 seconds. Then we use config.reliable scheduler. All right, so that was a lot to take in, but at the end of the day, it's just a few lines of configuration to get additional reliability. Let's run the same test again. Make sure Sidekick's not running. Look at the queue size. Add a job. Make sure it's in the queue. So we'll start Sidekick again. And now you can see we're running Pro. And I will kill dash nine the job or the process. Okay, and it died. So it crashed the process before the job was completed. Let's look and see if it's still in the queue. Okay, so it's not in the default queue or any other queues really. So let's fire up Sidekick again to see what happens. Here we can see that timed fetch was activated. Timed fetch will push in a new job when we restart Sidekick. It'll wait that 30 seconds though. I'm gonna fast forward, there we go. So even though Sidekick's process crashed, it successfully pushed the job back into the queue when it was restarted. You can also pause queues in Sidekick Pro. There are various reasons you might want to do this, but a good example would be that you know there's a bug in some code and you want to pause a given queue until the bug is fixed to reduce the number of jobs that are run with the problematic code. To pause a queue, you can use the API. We'll use the Sidekick Pro API, so require Sidekick Pro API, but you shouldn't even have to do the require. 
you can pause a queue. You can see if a queue is paused. You can unpause a queue. And that's really it. So that wraps it up. We covered the first couple of features in Sidekick Pro, reliability and pausing queues. See you soon.